Oh, we need to do a little intro. We didn't do it last time. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to the shittiest reaction video in the damn world. But it's made amazing by Fat Man's editing, so, you know. Uh, what was your favorite part of the last three, or, the, or not the last three, but, you know, the, f the first three episodes before we start episode number four? Like, uh, does anybody have one? Are, are we talking favorite as in legitimately good? Or are we talking favorite as in was hilariously bad? <laughs> Either way. <laughs> um, part right. you enjoyed watching the most. Uh, Whitley, definitely, like, <laughs> dumping exposition on us. I'll have you know, I didn't stop growing while you were away at Beacon. Even though he's been living with his sister for eight months at this point. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, yes, sister. Ah, sister. It's been so good. <laughs> My favorite bit was something that I completely expected them to fuck up horribly. And that's with the video of Pira. And they actually showed the tower in the background, so fans definitely knew that this was in the past and that she didn't come back to life. I expected them oh. to like have not have not have the tower in the background, and then fans would be like, "What is is she still alive? How is she videoing him?" But no, <laughs> they put the tower in, so fans could not physically fuck that up. They could. Uh, I I counter that point by pointing out that Pira is in a completely different art style than everyone else. That's also a good point. <laughs> like, She's ultimate like, dimension why, Pira. If you still have all the good assets from the old designs, why <laughs> did you switch to this shitty Maya shader? Because suddenly uh, Sun doesn't have abs anymore. Or he yeah. does, but only in very specific shadows. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Sun's abs are a gift to humanity. I, I, don't, <laughs> no, I don't know if Sun is a really good thing or a really bad thing anymore. Like, he feels, he feels a bit too comic relief-y. If that makes oh, yeah. sense. Uh, yeah. He's still the yeah. only, he's still the most they... likable character because he just points out oh, yeah. all the shit all the other characters do. You're not supposed to be here. Yeah? Well it looks like you can use all the help you can get. Yeah. Yeah. He, he did he, he did that uh goddamn uh journey to the east joke. That'll be a regular journey to the east. It's ah. just like now 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 my joke about um Ren wanting to sing a uh, girl worth fighting for seems like canon more, now. Yeah, and I feel plausible. bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> just because I forgot to mention it, my favorite part was Blake finally getting rid of her bow. Okay, so this is chapter four. Um, yes, this is chapter four. <laughs> all right, all right. So we, uh, we're delaying the inevitable here. No. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, let's go. I, I know. It's so like <laughs> seriously. Power Rangers is better than Ruby. <laughs> I want to emphasize that. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, I mean, it, it, it has Ozpin. Think about it. Zordon was based yeah. on the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, this is your friendly reminder that Crow has been stalking <laughs> them their entire time and still hasn't shown up. Yeah. Please. Oh, so s some people say that that girl with Blake in her um trailer appearance is yeah. actually her mother. Well, people don't know for sure, but... Uh, if it is, uh, mm. I'll be going on record as saying I have added the first MILF to my waifu collection. Um, the first MILF? <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. Also, oh, that's <laughs> another thing. How, um, I guess we can talk while the intro's going. How friggin' Cinder obviously lied to, um... <laughs> Blake face. Sorry. <laughs> I love that face, too. It's good. But no, how Cinder yeah. must have lied to Segway Chick. Salem. 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 Yeah, Segway that's girl. It. Salem, that's yes. it. And now Ozpin is probably alive because there is no such thing as, like, foreshadowing here. Yeah, really. Yeah. Farmer guy! Uh, I was wondering when he was coming back. Yeah. A lot of people say this is Ozpin from the past. And I just thought that was an interesting, um, uh, theory. Which, of course, means it's probably wrong. Yes, yes. We don't- we don't need Ozpin's backstory. Oh, yeah, this is totally- okay, yeah, this is the <laughs> Spring Maiden. Miller Miller on the wall. Who's the most terrible <laughs> character of them all? It's still Cinder. <laughs> it just shows a picture. <laughs> Hello, I'm Professor Osborne. What? 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 Oh shit, we were both wrong. But right. Is Ospin inside him? Oscar? Wait, did she just call him Altner? Oscar, I think it was. And thank you. <laughs> Oscar. But no, there's this random voice of it. Hello, I'm Ozpin. But oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I heard that. What the fuck? So uh, soul switching? Are we? Is it like Polnareff? No. Hey, look. 
Hey, <laughs> Yang's yeah, got both her arms back. Oh, yeah, hey, you know? So, oh. oh, yeah, and there's the bully. Okay, which is regular high school. Uh oh. <laughs> no, my fist bump. Wop, wop, wop. Gee, if only I had a robot arm. <laughs> okay, I'll give it. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, right no, there. That was, so I've been enjoying Yang's whole, like, yeah. like the psychological aspect of this. So she she already has a thing to connect a robot arm to. Yes. Well, that, that's recent, because that wasn't in the last episode. Well, she was oh, wearing so. a jacket in the last episode, wasn't she? Oh. Oh, Black. Wearing a skirt. Oh, we told him it was a kilt. He'd never worn I'm a glad that these two are alive. So he didn't know. Then we... <laughs> Like what you see? <laughs> and right. there is an image I am never uh -huh. getting out of my mind. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that animation is an image I'm never getting out of my mind. <laughs> what? What? Oh, uh, Miss Shaolong, uh, please. God, why does everyone move so weird? <laughs> pull up a chair. Please pull up a chair. <laughs> I'm there's, good. there's only two chairs in the room. <laughs> you know, you're right. Those are really, really high. Professor Goodwitch is working round the clock to restore Beacon to its former glory. Wait, they were. They and recovered just, Beacon? Oh, she, she, Goodwitch is rebuilding it while these assholes are sitting here drinking coffee. <laughs> if she can handle combat, she can handle a few jabs at her old man. Fair point. That's not the issue, Pete. Adult or not, you still got a long way to go before you're ready for the real world. You are a shit parent. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, it is so. Fight, fight, fight. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> if you Don't make me take your other arm. Go out there on your own? <laughs> well, I guess you got some brain cells along with that arm. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> you jerk. That is not... That's horrible. <laughs> oh, what an asshole. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Just casually mock your disabled daughter. A piece of Atlas technology being given out like that is rare indeed. Not to mention the effort it took to deliver it here. What? This is normal now. <laughs> yeah, it's been six to eight months. <laughs> Do you want me to just pretend like nothing happened? No! We. I lost a part of me. And we're giving it you back. <laughs> and it's never coming back. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lost an arm, bitch. I lost a wife. <laughs> Two, Two wives. Of them. Two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One's an accident. Two is a pattern. <laughs> Fear is like any other emotion. It comes and goes. It leads it's to anger. Anger is <laughs> <to> hate. <laughs> They bring only disease and famine! It's like my dad. Don't even get me started on their tails. So hairless, simply. Can you fair, imagine... mice, mice are kind of assholes, but rats were nice, actually. Can you imagine how racist this guy is to faunas who have, like, mice appendages? Oh my god! <laughs> Please, I, that has to be <laughs> Like, he just sees them and he spits in their direction. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bloody mice faunas. Uh. <laughs> disease ridden. Uh. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Fucking huge windows. Huge. It, again, it's a huge house. They just didn't scale up the models. Yeah. I've got to look after some things. I knew she was watching us. Mm. And can apparently hear through solid, you know, material. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Far away, are they? Still there. I swear I'm this is the same there. backdrop. Mm-hmm. See, it's shot from a different angle. It probably is exactly the same road. Are they finally gonna show Crow? Or are they gonna show... Villain Guy? Oh. No, a Grim. Whoop. Oh! Uh, we were both oh, right. There he is. Wait. So I'm still confused. Is the Crow him? Or is the Crow not him? What the fuck is going on? Does he just have a pet Crow <laughs> called Crow? Probably. I mean, in the, in the uh, wiki, his semblance is confirmed as shapeshifting. So, oh, okay. I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Also, why is he being so mysterious? Like, was surely he'd be so Japanese? much more... Was that just flat-out Japanese? Probably. That was Katakana! Surely Crow would be so much more useful 
being Crow, in the how group. did you know that would be the perfect position to watch them from? <laughs> from the woman upstairs. Red eyes. Said you wouldn't mind bottom shelf. <laughs> oh, it's... It's gonna be mom of the year. I went ahead and gave you top. Lucky you. Uh, whoa. Hello. Well, Hello, <laughs> new attractive waifu. Random barmaid number one. <laughs> She's obviously in competition with whoever gave him that drink. Well, I'm fairly Probably certain. Raven. It's, yeah, what it's girls Raven. do we know with red eyes? Um, well, to be fair, I mean, isn't Raven and Yang? Isn't this, this is the only two? Oh, isn't, yeah. Isn't, <laughs> oh yeah, it's shit, Raven. Raven. Hello, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, they're just gonna do that every single time. Is that normal? No, it's Hello not. There. It's not normal to, int to to talk to your sibling by announcing your relation to them. Yeah, that's weird. A girl can't just catch up with her family. No, because you shape shift yeah, in and out. But you're not. Now, how about we get on with it? You'd bring up family that carry on like your own daughter doesn't exist. I saved her <laughs> once. And then you went out to go get cigarettes. <laughs> Real mom of the year. Yes, he said the one thing the fandom always says, mom of the year. And which we are you referring to? <clears throat> the royal we. Also, your head is huge. Or your hair is huge. The only way we beat her is by working together. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> the tribe raised us, and you turned your back. The tribe? I thought they were raised, like... As a huntress group. I saw. The people of Shion saw too. Oh, she was the one who killed oh. that town where Ren got sad. Oh shit. If you don't know where the relic is, watch it's in like Oz's cane. Talk about. Um, guys. Randomly dramatic? <laughs> we are you referring to? Which we are. Everyone, bitch! <laughs> uh, we, was that like. Entirely the pronoun game. In which we are you referring to? That was. Did they say like even hint at a Why proper noun? Why are you noun? surprised? We're all going to die. But here's the thing: we are all refers to every fun. If it was just we are going to die, and that's fine. But we are <laughs> all going to die. So there is zero mm. chance of confusion there. Oh hey, <laughs> you you got over that pretty quickly. <laughs> Almost makes you wonder why they bothered setting it up in the first place. Okay. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's get started. Ends episode. Yeah, it was Oscar. Uh, How many times Oscar. they've done that? Oscar. She was that important to warrant a omnigraphic? Oh, it's concept art. <clears throat> Everybody's oh, important true, enough yeah, to but... warrant concept mm -hmm. art. Oh. These backgrounds look nicer than the show. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, that sign. That sign. It says, eh. Um, <laughs> Are you questioning whether so, that was written in Japanese? Yes. It says in. I-N-N. -N. <laughs> you understand, though. You understand. You're not understanding, though. Those are English. <laughs> in. <laughs> no, you don't get it. They look like Japanese characters. It's meant to be an Asian sort of thing. It's it's based off culture and high society and stuff like I that. I mean, they are literally katakana characters. I am not shitting you. Like, All right, well, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> eh, which means absolutely nothing. So there's a higher chance that it probably just says in in English. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying that. I'm just saying that they, they're like, oh, hey, these katakana characters kind of look like English characters. Let's use them in place of English characters because we're so refined. Bullshit! That's not how language works, <laughs> bastards! Uh, that is bullshit! Uh, I'm learning Japanese, you son of a bitch! I'm not going through all this hard work so you can slap me in the face! Uh, <laughs> uh, that's, that's, it pisses that's me nice. off! I'm pissed! So, I'm gonna be honest, I, I, we were all kind of quiet throughout the Yang bit, and whether or not it was pointless, like, I didn't have much to complain about in the Yang yeah, scene. I, I so far, aside was, from the kitchen aside. Can you guys uh, see see that uh, that picture of Yang in her kitchen, <laughs> with, with her cupboards that are like ten feet in the air, and then her uh, her curtains which are directly above the stove. Jesus Christ! Whoa. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she looks like a little step ladder. <laughs> it's like uh, I... she could fit in the oven. You know, a counterpoint, counterpoint. <laughs> I know why they built those so high. It's so Ruby couldn't get to the cookie stash. Ah, uh, that sense, makes but... perfect sense. Why did they put the the curtains right above the stove? <laughs> Um, so <laughs> there'd be a fire hazard and keep Ruby away from the cooking cookies. <laughs> so in the event of a fire where they'd have to jump out the window, they would have to jump through for more fire. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Exactly. It's all training them. It's all training them to become master huntresses. <laughs> yes. All part yes. of its master plan. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Who the fuck designed this kitchen? So, you know, th- someone, someone who was really tall and impervious to flame. <laughs> no, no, here's the thing. It probably wasn't designed, but whoever made this kitchen in Maya had no sense of scale when comparing it to the models. <laughs> is it actually a model, though? Like, like is that... Like, for some reason, I'm thinking that might... Some of that's pre-rendered. It might be pre-rendered. If that's so, then they didn't scale up the characters properly when animating it. <laughs> <laughs> they got like what is that like 12 foot high ceilings <laughs> and to be uh, fair 12 foot high ceilings are nice yes they are yes, I mean, they you are. Can but only... you don't stick the c- cupboards up to them <laughs> you, you could probably imagine the shenanigans that go on in the Xiao Long household as they were growing up like Ruby developed a semblance she was flying all over the place <laughs> kitchen aside <laughs> everything about Yang has been pretty damn good Fair play. Yeah. It's her going through, living through a trauma and trying to get over it. I actually like that. It's slow paced. <laughs> it's careful, methodical. And it seems like someone actually took some time and care to write it. Whereas everything else seems to sort of like, thing of the day, thing of the day, pronoun it's, game. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's it's slow paced. She she put her arm on like, that's it, I, it, like, it took her less than a full episode to, yeah. to, to put her arm on. But yeah, I like that. Here's the thing. I, I like that it took her less than an episode to put her arm on, but I get the implication that it's never, nowhere near the end of it. It's just like her being like, okay, listen, it is, it's been eight months. They're right. Mm. I need to move forward. And now it's her struggling to move forward. It's baby like steps. her putting on the arm and that's her first baby step. I like that. That, that, that's, that's, that, that bridges the gap of where a lot of anime falter. Where a lot of anime have like them brooding for like twenty episodes, then they do something proactive, <laughs> then they brood for they, another they twenty just episodes. Skipped all that, all that brooding. Yeah, they, they skipped all the <laughs> unnecessary brooding because we got enough of it. We we got enough of it in that one episode. Yeah. We got enough brooding yeah, in episode three, me. and then we got a little more brooding here, and we actually got some conversation and dialogue about it going on, some back and forth, some gentle jibes. They actually aren't afraid to make jokes about it. I like that. I like that a lot. Like, characters, they, they, they're all sensitive about it, but they start making the jokes because they feel like it's okay. And it's great. Okay, I'm going to be honest. The one joke he made that broke the ice should not have broke the ice in any particular what was situation. It? I did not hear it. it. Was yeah, like, let's go back to that scene. Well, I guess you lost some brain cells along with that arm. What he said is, uh, gosh, did you lose any brain cells with that arm? And it was like, <laughs> really? It, it was such a spiteful time. I was like, well, damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that is not how a tense situation would be resolved. So, if it's one thing I hate, it's how they're handling Ozpin. If that makes sense. Yeah, I have no idea what the fight, like, like okay. now we're adding a new magical power to Ozpin. The, I guess his semblance is not shields, or whatever he was doing before, but it's um swapping his soul over to this mirror, or to this uh, boy, because he's now... He, he's inside a boy. You know, the teacher is inside a boy. <laughs> I was going to say, this inside sound, a boy. <laughs> this is getting very dirty very quickly. Yes, but here's, here's what I hate about Rooster Teeth's writing and foreshadowing. They show the boy in episode one, they dedicate a whole scene to him and they do nothing. So that's, instead of, because good foreshadowing, it's showing that something exists, but not making it obvious that it's going to be important. If that makes sense. Meanwhile, like, they show that specifically to show that it's going to be important later. Yeah, like episode one, they pan away from Ruby. That the whole scene with the kid waking up, he does flowers, and then nothing happens of it. It's like, it's like okay, that's clearly meant to be something that they set up. Then, like a few episodes later, Cinder obviously goes, "Oh, d- oh sure, I killed Ospin. Yeah, he's dead as a dodo. Yes, mm, definitely." In her they, Cinderese accent. Yeah. The thing that like, gets me is that why didn't they just start from there? Like what? seriously, they could they could have introduced the boy in this episode, and nothing would have changed. 
Yes. Yeah, it's true. Except they would have needed to come up with another scene to fill time in the first episode. <laughs> Heaven forbid they animate fighting. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, you know what they could have given us in that first episode? <laughs> a couple of death shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I, I, uh, and, oh, and we got a death shot. We got a kill shot in the last episode, but fuck that noise! It was shit. So maybe they'll That's... reveal it later. But I don't get why Crow was staying so distant from the group. Like he would be um... ten times more helpful if he was able to communicate with them. Uh, helpful at doing what is the question, what? isn't it? Killing Grim, helping them on their quest. We we still don't know what. Like Ruby's just going to the town to warn the next kingdom over. I guess about what happened. I guess I think that was what's happening. Um, Are you quite so? If Crow's been following them the <laughs> uh, whole time, helping them defeat Grim, when they got attacked by the giant stone monster, I guess he was just getting coffee or something like that. You you really think Crow would get coffee? Oh, obviously not. He was getting hard liquor. <laughs> it was in the middle of the morning. He was looking for booze, and nobody would sell it to him because it was like no, no, fat before man. <laughs> noon. Fat he, he, he obviously has Irish coffee in the morning. Bailey's yes. delicious. Yes, Bailey's Bailey's cream. It's like the one of the few alcohols I really like. Oh, uh, gorgeous. In fact, I could go get some bellies now, but yeah, I'll stay. I have some uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, it is like it is like six o'clock for you, right? Roughly, yeah. It's like, it's what, 140 here and like, what, 1040 over you? 1040, fat, yeah. Fat man having to wake up early. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. so yeah, no complaints with Yang so far, aside from that really off-color joke. What? I, 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 even that I kind of have res- reserved judgments on because I think they might be like that kind of family that really are just assholes to each other, but really love <laughs> each other very tightly. So okay. maybe they could get away with that. Maybe they can get away with that. I have to see more of their interaction. Uh, it, it was very jarring because that sort of relationship where they were kind of dicks to each other wasn't shown before. So when it initially happened, it was like, oh, fuck. Like, wow, that's well, really they hard. Did, they did it, bicker like a Sundari couple. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, did... it does seem weird that they would be that kind of family, you know, to, like, tell really uh, horrible jokes at, at each other's expense. But then at the same time, for her entire childhood to be marred with this, you know, like... Oh, my dad won't talk to me about my mom, and I'm gonna go out into the woods and almost get myself killed because my dad won't talk to me about it. W- when did it? When did it shift? When did it like? You know, I like to imagine that if their family has this this dramatic dynamic of being really having really shitty jokes with each other, that Ruby's actually the worst of them. <laughs> no, Yang's puns top it. No, no, no. <laughs> Yang, Yang has her puns, but I think Ruby has like the darkest sense of humor out of all three of them. Like, like she'll make yeah. off-color jokes to them, but only to them. Yeah. That, no, that would be that. great if, like, she got really comfortable with um the rest of Team Orange, and then just her, her like, fucking blue comedy just came out of her. <laughs> and, like, really started upsetting, like, Ren and Nora, and they're like, what the fuck is with this girl? <laughs> she was so demure before, and now she's just, like, swearing at us all the time. She's swearing worse than a sailor. She's talking about dead babies. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Jesus. Why she keep making fun of Pyrrha? God damn it. It's so harsh. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, she did laugh her ass off at, at Jean's hoodie. hoodie. Yeah. That, yeah. That wasn't funny, but oh well. I, I would like it. Maybe Ruby's actually, like, secret. Like, like she she tells really off-color racist jokes, and that's why suddenly her and Weiss get along. <laughs> <laughs> Or that's, that's, that's why they got along in their later year. <laughs> I do like this new development in Peter Potts character, how he's going to be incredibly racist towards uh, rat and mice <laughs> yeah. sort of shaped furnaces. They bring only disease and famine! Like, he saw Sun's tail and he had to double check and he pulled up a shotgun <laughs> just to be sure. <laughs> like, not his blunder axe, not his it blunder is... axe, an actual shotgun. A double <laughs> barrel old... blunderbuss sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> he would have loved uh, uh, Blake. She's a cat, and she yeah. would have been like, "So you kill any rats lately?" <laughs> yeah, those filthy rats. Mice, <laughs> mice, not rats. Very oh, specific. Yeah. Because yeah. I, oddly, I learned because my my friend is going into veterinarian school that uh, mice are a bitch and a half to deal with. They can be very temperamental, but rats almost always are pretty docile and very cute and cuddly. Yeah, she rats are actually feet, quite yeah. clean. She, she she keeps, like, yeah. a couple of rats, and they hang out with her cats. It's really adorable. Like, one of yeah. her cats, I think, treats one of the rats as his pet. <laughs> Wait, the, the 
the which way did that go? The cat. The cat treats the rat as as a pet. Yes. Jarvis oh, okay. treats uh, was it potato? Yes. I think as a, no potatoes McKenna's <laughs> rat. I have potato. two. I have two friends that have rats and they have different names all over the board. Okay, but okay. So Yang is okay. Ruby and her little crew are just still walking. Yeah, and that's just what they walking. do. So there's nothing really interesting there. <laughs> crow following behind yeah. with his crow buddy, Crow Junior. Uh, hot waitress <laughs> chick, and then we get to the pronoun game. To end all pronoun games. Yes. By this, her group was the one that wiped out that village. I, it is assumed so. Pretty Crow... sure that's what they were yeah. implying. I saw. The people of Shion saw too. Crow was like, ah, oh, you got some strong crew members there. Uh, I see what you did at the village. And then, so... so apparently they were part of like a roving band of bandits or something like that when they were growing up. The tribe raised us. You hear this shit? Are they actually fucking related? The Broadway twins have always been interesting, to say the least. Are they actually brother and sister? That's a question. I mean, I know they have the same hair and eyes, but I mean, shit, man. By the sounds of it, they grew up in some kind of band of bandits. For all we know, they're not even related by blood. If Ruby and I... Yang are related by blood, I can assume that the brothers can look as different or as similar as possible, really. Yep, yeah, but I mean, like, actually, well, that, that like they're half it? siblings. Wouldn't it be ironic if, like, the ones that look incredibly similar weren't related at all, but the ones that's, that that's... look absolutely <laughs> nothing alike looked like, you know, weren't were actually <laughs> that, siblings? That sounds stupid enough to be Rooster Teeth, so yeah. <laughs> That could yeah. work. Well, they're only half siblings. If they're like half siblings, or if they're just like, mm -hmm. like Raven said, you know, it's like, oh, they're our family through experience or whatever the fuck. I just, I don't know this. And then she teleports away, and for some reason, the bar maiden was scared. Like, why <laughs> does I... someone walking through a portal scare you? Like, like, it... I, admittedly, it... it's unusual, but like, I just be like, oh, it's a hunter with a semblance. It's if it's a if it's a red death glowy portal, and this <laughs> woman with a katana is swinging around upstairs. I'd be like, oh shit, what the yeah. fuck's going on? Yeah. <laughs> if I saw that, I'd just throw up the devil horns and just like bang my head a couple El of times. El Diablo, <laughs> El Diablo, <laughs> just throw toast, see if it lands. Buttered side down or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's jelly side down. It's jelly side down. Ah, uh, uh, jelly side down. Ah, uh, that's right. That's that's the go-to detection method. The true call of the devil. So, uh, Crow and Bitchy McBitch Tits arguing it out. Crow and Mom of the Year. I feel bad because, like, like I'm naming all these female characters as like bitchy, but I mean, <laughs> is that just because Miles and? Carrie aren't that good at writing female characters. Well, they wrote Yang. <laughs> so far, so far, Yang hasn't been a bitch. Ruby hasn't been a bitch. <laughs> what did you do? Send in a box top for a prize. Nora hasn't been a bitch. Seven. <laughs> you know that actually explains a lot. Wait, what do you mean? Yes. What? R and what? the waitress Ruby, girl. Ruby and Nora have been okay. have been. Wait, catty. waitress They've girl been... and uh uh. Okay, they're good at writing it... teenagers, but not women. Like, not fully adult women. If that makes sense. <laughs> okay, to be fair, Glinda hasn't been a bitch, but she hasn't shown up yet. Yeah. Apparently, okay, okay, there's... They, they retook Beacon? Did I hear that fucking right? Professor Goodwitch is working round the clock to restore Beacon to its former glory. Well, to be fair, the, the only thing that was keeping the Grim going was the dragon, and that's like a frozen statue now. Because Ruby, Ruby deus exed it up a little bit. Yeah, but Cinder... And I'm not Cinder. Salem actually said, we've got to send more Grimm to Beacon. Reinforce our numbers at Beacon. Like, at the end of the last episode, when Salem sort of uh, let slip that she didn't actually kill Ozpin. Well, she said that she did kill Ozpin, but it's obvious that she didn't. Because he's inside a little boy. I'm thinking at this point, it's, <laughs> she did think she killed Ozpin, but Ozpin pulled a, uh, oh, I'm going to hop mines into this little boy's. Yeah. This random little boy who lives on a farm somewhere. Ozpin is missing. That's still, like, what a fucking cop-out line. It's been for Ozpin, but he's missing now. Is, 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 that, is that the sequel to Mario is Missing? <laughs> <laughs> it's just Ruby going from town to desolate town, answering stupid bullshit questions. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, it's already worse than Mario is Missing. Ah, <laughs> uh, lord. What they're saying is, the entire purpose of Beacon Falling is moot. 
Like, all it did, it got Ruby and Yang out the door, effectively. It got the tower down, and I think causing chaos and anarchy yeah, yeah. across the thing. It got, yeah, it, it got the tower down to, like, very, very little avail. Like... Well, here's what, the thing. what did it accomplish? Here's, no, here's the thing. So, they took... after the tower went down, they immediately switched back to their radio signals, to... <laughs> and then they got TV. So they, they switched back to radio, and then they got the TVs working again, uh, uh, which, God. like, do actually work through radios. But if TVs had always worked through radios, why did they specify that the, C- uh, the CCT allowed them to send... Video. The content of these transmissions were not nearly as limited. Audio, video, images, and text. Like they could always send video over television. Uh, I, like, I, you don't need your. You don't need um, the internet to run the TV. You, you yeah, just need yeah. like a TV. No. So it, it, I, I'm guessing it's their internet, and you know they could just have radio and TV anyway. But then that's contradicted by the fact that they can use their scrolls because Dickhead Watts was on his phone during the Grand yeah. Evil meeting. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I, no, it's just I like all other scrolls have built in like uh, two way walkie talkies yeah, or like yeah. radio <laughs> shit. I, I don't yeah. think Verizon covers into the pits of hell. <laughs> what do you mean? That's where they're centered. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, that's Konami. That's Time Warner. Yeah. That's Konami. <laughs> Konami and Time Warner just work like right next to each other. <laughs> in hell, yes. <laughs> it's why they're so rich; they don't have to pay for central heating. <laughs> Is there anything else in this episode that's that's vitally important? The terrible writing uh, of Raven is just she just stands there oh, quietly, yeah. like, "Hello, brother." Hello, uh, brother. Brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that's that's just how every new or not new, but you know, every like formerly unknown character is going to introduce himself. Eventually, they're going to have a character who's not related to anyone, mm-hmm. and then they're going to be like. Hello, uh, he, second cousin's roommate, twice <laughs> removed. <laughs> Hello, you. <laughs> you, you forgot my name? Uh, my name is Paul. <laughs> what? My name is Paul. I thought you were a woman. Why? Probably because of the hat. Yeah, probably the hat. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I have some awkward images to delete off my computer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just can't, I'll just continue referring to that permanently. That, like, that's how I'll always refer to it. Osmond is inside a child now. Why did all of the uh, cool animation go to the bartender? Like, she had really cool sway movements and it looked really nice and like, wow, this person has a character. We're probably not going to see her again, but wow, that was a cool couple of seconds. <laughs> no, she's going to she's gonna hook up with Crow and then uh, Team Orange is going to move on and Crow's going to be like, fuck, I lost him. And then they're going to die in the next episode. <laughs> Story over. Switches <laughs> over to you. Story Luckily, over. Luckily, Crow is already keeping the Branwen lineage going by having supped with that woman. <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> because, I know, everyone lives out in the boons, right? So, I mean, there's obviously not birth control out here. <laughs> it's used by dust. They just explode <laughs> you from inside. Make this one a double. Crow, how do you make that a double when it's already filled to the brim? <laughs> yeah, I know. He didn't even drink any of it. That's something that he I know. So it's like, surely he would down that, right? Like, and I'm gonna... Yeah, do they intend to have him down it and just, like, the animators forgot? Crow takes a swig, but apparently he doesn't down all that much. Mm-hmm. Crow is secretly a lightweight, and he just kind of pretends he swells it and then spits it back out. <laughs> yeah, no, that flask is uh, full of um, lemon juice. Water. <laughs> yeah, it's apple juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to rewatch the scene where Ozpin's inside a child. Hello. <sighs> Hello, I'm Professor <laughs> Ozpin. Another weird thing about this is that there's no sound placement. It doesn't sound like he's far away. It just sounds like a guy in a microphone is saying, Hello, I am Professor Ozpin. Yeah, I know. That's... But w- w- why would those be... Like... Why would those be the words that he astral projects? Yeah, like, you're not going crazy. Don't panic. No, just, Hi, I'm Professor Ozpin. I'm in your brain. Hi. I'm, ins- I'm a guy you never heard of before. I'm an old man and I'm inside you. <laughs> Please don't panic. don't panic. Don't show your. I'm inside you. And make sure you do not tell your mom about this or whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's... don't fight it. <laughs> yeah, don't don't fight me. <laughs> I'll have you know, I got beaten up by a young girl, so I'm attacking young boys now. <laughs> so, so let, let's let's see. 
this episode wasn't all that bad, but it did like zero in moving the plot forward. Well, it it moved Yang's plot forward. Yang got her arm on. Wait, no, no. Wait, okay, I'm just saying, like, yeah. that's not the main plot, though. Yeah, in the grand that, scheme, that is, of how, do you, how do you know? In, how do you know what the main plot is? In the grand scheme of things, we now have Raven back in the game, who's probably gonna fuck off for another like ten episodes. Uh, yeah, really. Have, uh, let's see. Ruby have made another checkpoint to the same goddamn village they've been to five hundred times. Uh, what else has happened? Farm boy has met uh, Ozpin. And Yang got her arm. And they're all being chased mm. by some crazy dude with a ponytail and a jellyfish. <laughs> hey, I, I still want that jellyfish. <laughs> I, I want jellyfish butler, okay? That would be awesome. They're just going to, like, retcon how... Because as Crow and... Um... The other chick brought up how, like, they were raised in, like, tribes, and Crow left first. Then how did you both end up at Beacon? What? I'm s- <laughs> I'm a little confused here. Yeah, let's Rick actually go, go back and rewatch that scene. Why does he wait for her to pull the fucking, uh, helmet so, away? Does she have it? She's talking about, like, does she have it? Does she have the relic? Or What relic? Why, why Why? the uh, pronoun game? <laughs> why? Well, I mean, at least they said relic, you know. Hey, we all we all know this relic is, is some fucking bullshit. Why is, why is it oh always that God. relics are important? It's going to be a plot device. It's obvious. It, it, it's, it relic sounds better than MacGuffin. <laughs> like, if you're looking for, if you're on the hunt for a MacGuffin, everybody knows you're a hack writer. If you're on the hunt for a relic, everybody thinks, ooh. Or oh, Indiana Jones over here. <laughs> Only a few people know you're a hack writer. <laughs> <laughs> I told you Beacon would fall, and it did. Except it, I told it got unfallen. Yeah, I was right? going to say, like, uh, except, you know, it's, it's, Beacon's fine, apparently. <laughs> Professor Goodwitch is working round the clock to restore Beacon to its former glory. Yeah. Well, they've retaken Beacon. It's not fine. Like, she, apparently she's rebuilding it as those two were just sitting Have there Have you seen how coffee. fast Glinda fucking Goodwitch works with that kind of shit? Well, she gets tired. She couldn't rebuild it the first time. She, she was just knackered, I guess. It'll probably take her a week <laughs> to get that shit done. Yeah, probably a week. Yeah. There wasn't too much structural damage. <laughs> uh... I mean, it's, it would be weird to just have, like, you know, oh, yeah, no, class is back in session, just don't go up to the tower. <laughs> There's a giant grim dragon up there. No, you do not get extra credit for fighting it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if if it's frozen and not moving, why don't they just send somebody up there to, like, poke it with a stick no until it dies? Nora has a sledgehammer. Versus <laughs> stone. Like, just, again, use Fat Man's strategy, just tase her until she's Super Saiyan, and then just let her yeah. swing off its head. Counterpoint, I, uh... stone is super effective against electricity, so, I mean... Well, it's it's a rock. A ra-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
A giant monster's currently frozen on top of Beacon Tower. Yeah. So, go up there with a fucking blowtorch. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is, might actually be one of the more consistent parts of the story. Because uh, they've never attacked an immobilized enemy. <laughs> never. I mean, not in episode eight. You know, they're like, hey, uh, the scorpion is completely immobile. Uh, let's run away from it. Hey, this Nevermore is all, like, crushed under lockers. Let's wait for it to get back up before we kill it. Let's pose dramatically on its still-alive body. <laughs> <laughs> They've never been able to attack a, a downed uh, opponent. Yeah, So and why the... would they start now with the biggest, baddest threat to the world? Huh, yeah, good point. Wow. Uh, that yeah, is yeah. terrible <laughs> consistency. Like, in that it's good consistency, but it's terrible that they're doing it. I mean, it's terrible things. <laughs> So, so this 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 part is called family, and I guess it must be talking about the crow and the. the... It's not even called. It's brawl in the family. How disappointing! <laughs> so you know, I, I I I am gonna bring up the um, confusing thumbnail, because when you Google Ruby to go watch the new episode or something, it shows you a very tiny sort of preview of the thumbnail. Like in a very, a very small, I, I don't know the dimensions, but it's a very small dimension, and because it has this weird shader, it look, makes Yang's hair look pink. So I was genuinely confused whether or not this was going to be a Neo episode. Because for a split second I was like, damn it, I've just been spoiled that Neo's in this. Why would they be so stupid? Oh, I'm sorry, it's just them being so stupid for using a stupid shader. Yeah, this episode's <laughs> called Family. Instead of showing... Uh, I, I, it would have tied it up in a nice bubble if they showed either Blake or whoever Blake is with, with her father or something like that, or whoever with... Um, we uh, are four uh, episodes in. With. Does anyone have an idea what the fucking plot is? Uh, okay, so... Uh, Ruby uh, Sa Salem's looking for a relic. Ruby is looking for Salem. Weiss <laughs> Salem. is arguing with her father. Blake <laughs> is bitching out to Menagerie, and Yang is having post traumatic <laughs> stress disorder. Meanwhile, Crow and Raven are arguing about a fucking relic, and Ospin is inside a young boy. I cannot <laughs> emphasize enough. I have no idea what the fuck is going on in the show. Yeah, it's like there's no connecting thread. Like. Like, why do they think that Salem, I mean, not Salem, but Cinder, I mean, probably Salem, but m moreover Cinder, why did they tell Ruby to follow Cinder to Mistral when there's no reasonable connection between any of that? What, what, what did, like, did they tell her to go there? Yeah, it, that's Crow did. Crow, Crow like, was like, our, yeah. Our enemy's trail leads all the way to Haven. Did, didn't, I thought, I thought, um, oh. Uh, I I don't remember uh, that. Also, scene. I totally want oh, that trail I'm... to be like literal breadcrumbs. <laughs> nice. Like, uh, like... I, I would much rather have. <laughs> uh, it would have been Sa cooler. Salem's just eating a bunch of funyuns while on that Segway. <laughs> <laughs> look, Cinder, no hands. It would have been cooler <laughs> if Crow and them were off looking for Salem in a fucking hellscape, At, but. Crow told Ruby to go to Haven just to keep her busy. But he's following her and, like, staying out of reach or out of contact. Yeah, I, I don't get that. And, and apparently, like, who's attracting the Grim on Team Orange? Also, how, do they, like, how, do, how does he know about Salem? I, he's, he's plot man. Yeah, past plot MacGuffin. Yeah. He's read the script. Yeah, he's, he's, he's read the best script. script. <laughs> Everyone knows about the relic. <laughs> the, the, the relic is actually just the script, and they need to read it to see how they end this. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised with how much he drinks. He actually wrote part of these scripts. Yeah. Like, he's, he reads the script and reads the bit about Ospin being in the young boy, and he's like, what? I'm going to need another what? drink for this one. <laughs> Make it a double. <laughs> Yeah, probably a good time to wrap it up. See you guys next time. All right. Catch you on the flip side, people. Yeah. Expert British lighting. <laughs> Come to Britain. We've got tea, gentle talking chaps, and a whole lot of fucking rain! <laughs> a shit ton of rain. We don't pour water into our tea, we just take it outside. <laughs> uh, all right. Have you seen the British guy vines? Yes, the, the driving. Oh, it's beautiful, and it's so true. No, of all the Vine compilations that I have watched, I don't think I've seen that particular one. <laughs> Bright.
What is this mystical ray of light that is shining on England? In other news, Yang's face in that thumbnail is exactly how I feel about this upcoming episode. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's 16 just minutes. Just sort of like, you can it's just sort of like, eh? <laughs> Let's see. All right. Uh, also, uh, I just wanted to note, the animation so far has been noticeably worse. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, like, dear God. <laughs> I swear. No, we need to talk about positive stuff, damn it. <laughs> I People swear to just God, like in that game. last fight scene, I counted like three or four instances where Blake didn't fucking move, but her character model did. <laughs> like, like, like uh. the, the kill a kill sliding across the screen thing, <laughs> but without the self-awareness yeah. that comes with being kill a fucking kill. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Rip Omega Gyarados, you know? <laughs> Uh, although, although I will say, the, uh, was it, the, the, the... The captain, he was the, cool. I like him. Not the captain, yeah. his, like, his second mate, the, the girl with the striped shirt, like, everyone had the striped shirt, there was a girl there, like, yeah. dark tan skin and short cut hair. I don't normally like tan, uh, tan, uh, scanned, uh, <laughs> characters, but she was saying, I found her, like, at least for the art style, attractive. So, so the, oh, that's really. your one positive background character number four. Is your yeah, one back, positive background okay, character she was number obviously four. background character number three. Ah, oh, gotcha, yeah. Also, uh, yes. there was only, like, five people on that ship, if you really counted. Yeah, it was a pretty <laughs> rubbish cruise. So, Yang has PTSD. Now, definitely, it's confirmed. Yes. But you know, uh -huh. it's understandable getting your arm cut off, but she acted like a total bitch. Oh, dad, <laughs> god damn it. I Thanks. don't want your robotic arm that'll probably increase <laughs> everything I do by like tenfold. Not to mention it has, <laughs> it has optional vibration function. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, dad, for pulling your strings and getting me a special arm. <laughs> Ugh. How tall is Yang? I don't know. Roughly an arm's length. Nora is tall, fucking dude. tiny. She's shorter than Ruby. Yeah, yeah. Nora is like five. No, not five foot something. Just five. <laughs> Penny is taller than, than Nora. Well, she's not anymore. She's been cut down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Neo's a midget, so that's why. No, no, Neo is deliberately, adorably like four foot seven or something like that. She's she's fun sized. And that's in high heels, remember. <laughs> So she's probably smaller. Teeny tiny ice cream girlfriend. But goddamn, Teeny. she's still the best character. Uh, okay. Fat man, start cursing. Okay, motherfucker. Let's let's it's not get working. This damn it, synced. <laughs> All right. It's not working. Damn it. Please tell me I'm not the only one hearing just weird noises. No, no, no. It is, it is on both sides. Don't worry. Oh, shit. so you're both unable to hear me. Oh, I don't need to. Actually... Now, now, nobody, nobody oh, can hear me. I, I'm just, I'm just speaking into the void right now. No, no, I can't. Nobody can. Nobody can hear me. Oh, there we go. Oh, if you can back. hear me, we if can you can you hear me, call me, mm -hmm. call me a fat fuck. You're a fat, fat fuck. fuck. Okay, good. I, either that was um, confirmation that you can hear me, or uh, you thought I couldn't hear you, and now I know how you really feel. So thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> It's, All right. it's, it's like Schrodinger's cat, but with insult. <laughs> oh, that's right. I went to the comedy of errors in this jacket. <laughs> I forgot that I actually use this jacket outside of a costume. <laughs> well, it's a nice jacket. It I is think, a nice jacket. I think Fat Man's the only one not in a jacket now. Uh, I, I am not. I am not in a jacket. I don't own a jacket. We will be the most... I own several shirts, they all look exactly like this. <laughs> and no pants. That's why now, I always now, film myself from the waist up. Now here's the question that I'm wondering, is why do I have a coupon here for uh, Kroger Speed Stick? Um... I, I, I don't... I, I, like, uh, buy any two participating Colgate personal care products between 11-16-14 and 12-17-14 and save $2 on a future order with a coupon. Well, damn. Well, we could imagine that Roman Torchwick is a thrifty guy. Yeah. <laughs> I would not disagree with that. Although he does go to very expensive uh, personal tailors. 